guys, this is day three of our shelter building project with the uh, kids and various young people that's floating in and out of our house for the holidays. Once again, it's pretty early in the morning. I'm the first one up and out here. It was about 31 degrees last night. There was a pretty good frost on everything. I'm going to go ahead and build a fire this morning because it's a little bit colder. And get some water boiling. Get some hot cocoa going for these young people. All right, we got some signs of life. We got a few youngsters up and about now. We're gonna to try to start a fire real quick, start working on this shelter. I thought I'd just show you something real quick. A lot of survival stuff you buy at the store. You get some sort of a striker that throws a spark and you get a fuel tab. You know, a lot of people don't know and it'll not be very beneficial if you find it out the first time when you need it real bad. You're not going to throw a spark on a lot of these fuel tabs to start a fire. What you have to do is you have to shave your fuel tab and get uh, some shavings of it. You throw your uh, spark into these shavings and they will normally light pretty good and you're going to be in a lot better stead than to start your fire. We'll throw some sparks on this here and see if this is going to work. Pretty sure it will. There we go. Now you can't do that with this cube. The sparks will just bounce off this cube, it'll never light. Now I got something we can work with to start a fire with this damp wood, won't be any trouble at all. Young man, why don't you go ahead? Alright, morning three of the shelter project. I got my work crew out here and uh, we got them all fired up on some hot cocoa and ready to go to work. What these young people are doing is they're interlacing grapevine in the uprights on the sides of the shelter to tie and bind it all together, give it a lot of structural strength, and then they'll start stacking any kind of debris and leaves that they can find up against these sides and create solid walls for the shelter. What we have here is a little pot of grits with a good dose of uh, ham thrown in there. And Miss Olivia is stirring, and this will be lunch here in just a little bit. All right, this is our construction crew eating lunch, which is the uh, grits that we just cooked on this fire right here. And they are convinced these are the best grits they've ever eaten. Uh, cold air and hard work does that for young people. It's the best thing that ever happened to them. All right, guys, these youngsters are learning how to do it. We're doing this by hand. We're just raking leaves down the hill from anywhere we can get them, and we're throwing them on top of this shelter. All right, there's no easy way of doing this. This young lady's working hard here. We're just handful after handful, just cedar limbs and leaves. We're just packing the holes and making this tight for the night. Doing a good job, Olivia. Keep working. All right, we're getting serious about getting this shelter finished. You cannot stack leaves on a vertical wall. We're building this kind of like a pyramid. It's getting wider at the base. It's going to make the walls thick so they're windproof, waterproof, weatherproof. I got a cedar tree. I'm just going to jam it right down at the base. <clears throat> And we're going to start legging leaves up into it and get a platform and stack them up. Go ahead, guys. Oh, man, 
The kids are going to be in the dark in two hours. They're throwing leaves on here and trying to tighten this up for the evening. And on the outside looking in, it looks really good. But you can see looking up under, there's a whole lot of daylight. There's going to be a whole lot of cold air blowing through there. So they're going to have to hustle and get this thing tightened up for the night. These kids have pushed hard to get this shelter done before night falls. It's going to be dark in about 20 minutes. They've all went to get their things to spend the night. I'm just kind of looking out for them. It's going to be about 28 to 30 degrees tonight. I just rustled these stones up from down the hill and got them up here. We'll build a reflector wall out of these stones, get some heat kicking back in this shelter, and these kids will be in good shape for the night. All right, guys, when it gets daylight in the morning, we'll show you the finished shelter in the daylight. For right now, these guys have gotten back to camp. We got a fire going. We got a reflector wall built. And we are getting ready to settle in for the evening. It's been a long three days worth of work. But these young men and ladies have built a very substantial structure which uh, will withstand a lot of weather. And it will house about four people comfortably. So we'll check back in the morning and we'll let you let, get a good look at everything in the daylight. <laughs>